Welcome to a brand new writing week. Let's jump right in. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, September 4th. Where did last week go? It went away. I had a lot of announcements that I wanted to tell all of you this week, and I did that on Monday. I'll link in the cards above if you're interested in checking out that announcement. I finally released my cover and all the information about my Christmas festive romance, which I'm so excited for everyone to read. The last week of summer just sort of... Writing didn't really take a backseat because I do need to do my ghostwriting, and which I did. Everything was on target. I finished all the words that I needed to do, but I just kind of left everything else behind and I wanted to spend the last week of summer with my family and the holiday weekend um, here in the US, it was Labor Day, so I just kind of hung out. I didn't really feel like vlogging, which was sort of nice. I obviously missed doing it. It was just nice to kind of take a minute. So it was a lovely week and I don't have any regrets, but I'm excited to be back doing my writing vlog. So today my goal is to self-edit and do my grammar check for 10 chapters of my ghostwriting. The final milestone for this book is due Friday. I'm hoping to get it to them by Thursday. That's my update for right now and I'll check in with you soon. So I have a few minutes to myself. I'm going to try to get one chapter done for my ghostwriting before I have to go to the dentist. I need to get some stuff done, some fillings refilled, things like that that happen to old people. So let's jump in. So the chapter is done. It I have about 20 minutes until my appointment, so I'm gonna head out now. Say hi to Jamie. Don't look at my laundry. Hi, pup. I don't know how long it will be until I do this after because I'm pretty sure I'm getting Novocaine and I'm not sure if I wanna show you that um, after the fact. So <laughs> I'll try to check in later. I do have some updates and I'll see you soon. Morning, happy Thursday. It's Thursday, September 4th. And sorry I didn't check in last night. I meant to, but things just got a little crazy, which is the topic for the day. I tried a different thing with my hair, random. Um, I'm not sure if I like it. But anyway, my life has been changing a lot lately. I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, but for the last two years, technically I have been a full-time author. I have had a job also, um, which took up about half the day on Thursdays. I'm not gonna go into it, um, but I have had this job for years, even when I was working full-time at a different job. Um, so it's more of like an office job. This fall, since kiddo is at school full-time now, I am going back to work, work full-time. So a lot of things in my life are changing, which is, I think, why this summer was a little questionable for me when it came to burnout and things like that because I was never really sure what was going to happen with my my work and things are changing. So we'll see what happens um, when it comes to my ghostwriting and my books. A lot of things have been weighing on me in terms of the future and things like that. Currently my position is full time and I'm putting my writing um, around that. I'm not stopping. Um, I do have a contract with my ghostwriting client, so I can't just give up on that. But when it comes to 2020, um, I have a lot of things that I want to be doing, and it's not looking like the same that I have been doing over the past few years. Um, I've really amped up my ghostwriting, and it has paid the bills, and it has been great. Things change. <laughs> so yeah, that is my new plan and I will explain more as I sort of explore more because this week has been a little bit of an adjustment. I know I will be adjusting for probably a couple weeks and also releasing a book wrapped up for Christmas. Every book release, even though I do have a plan, this is my 12th book I've released and they've all been different. We'll see how that goes. I'm very, very excited for this book to be out and I'm sort of putting a pause in the second book of my contract, which I will go into probably later. I don't really have a lot of time right now. I have to head out to work. Yesterday I wrapped up my ghost riding. I actually did another sprint at night and I finished my milestone for this book, which is affording me a little bit of a break for a couple weeks until edits come back. And then I start um, the next book 
with them. So all exciting things. This morning I worked on a guest post for the Jungle Reds blog, which I am going to be on October 4th. It's a Friday, so I think it's the 4th, the week of my release. That's really exciting. It was nice to kind of do a little bit of research and see, you know, what they have on that blog already and what maybe their readers would be interested in reading. So that's my update for right now. I'll check in with you soon. Well, hello again. I'm about to jump on a workout. Um, I have a little time, kid-free time to do that today. And I just wanted to come on and just sort of talk about what I alluded to earlier this morning about my what, my life, what's going on in my life right now. So that second book of my contract, which I had discussed with you before about how great it was and I was ready to write it and everything. Uh, when I started plotting it, it, uh, it didn't work. I don't really know what happened, whether it's because I've written 12 books for my publisher in three years and I'm sort of burning out or this new direction that uh, they're taking me with my books scares me or I just can't find the right story right now. I have no idea. I have no conclusion to that. But what I do know is that it's not working. And I, there were about two days that I was physically sick about it. And that's not a good sign. If you're ever physically ill uh, about something that you like doing, that's a sign of something else. I talked to a bunch of my author friends about it and they were able to sort of got, get me to a point where I was able to contact my editor and talk about it. So we actually have a phone call tomorrow about next steps. She was very generous and she was very kind with me. Um, I sort of have a reputation, at least in my mind, about deadlines and I never miss deadlines. I'd have to be in the hospital or a family member would have to be in the hospital for me not to hit a deadline. Whether I stay up till two in the morning or not, uh, it gets done. So this not getting done with the deadline that we set really uh, set me off a bit. Currently, I am not writing anything for them. I'm focused on my release for Wrapped Up for Christmas. That's gonna be sort of my September and October, and I think even in November, I'm just consistently going to be boosting um, that book and I don't know when I'm going to write this other one. I don't even have an idea for it. I think I was pushing too hard to sort of fit something into a hole and the product I got is I'm not excited about it and digital first publishing like works very fast. I've had turnaround times and I think the second book was maybe like five months turnaround for like the entire book. That was, that, I don't never want to do that again. But I didn't want to spend six to eight months on something that I was not excited to write, which is why I, over the years, have become more selective in my ghostwriting because even though I usually don't go through the editing process and everything with most of my clients, I have to be like excited about the project or else it really shows. And I knew if I started writing this book that I outlined, I w it wouldn't come out nice it would be forced contracts are never guaranteed so if i did not get another contract with them um i wouldn't want this to be the book i ended with i uh, saw a a video from the courtney project recently about like expectations and you know just in the industry and anything whether or not you're um, traditionally published or self-published and that really gave me a boost of confidence to really like look inside of me and figure out what I needed to do with this. So I'll link that below if anyone's interested. It's really great. I think it's something that I will refer to later at different moments of my career where I'm feeling a bit down because those were a couple days that I was not feeling great <laughs> about anything. So I just wanted to check in and um, let you know what was sort of going on, be a little more transparent. Writing books and being a published author is not always sunshine and roses there's difficult parts and i've seen a lot of people come out on instagram and author tube and the like about how hard it can be to be a creative person and to put your art out there for everyone and to work with other people in these industries so yeah that's all i wanted to say um i don't know if you got anything out of this let me know 
I guess, if you've ever felt this way when it comes to writing or any other creative thing, or even at a normal 9 to 5 job. I am not going to be working on anything for the rest of the day. I am actually going to be reorganizing my office. It's been getting a bit cluttered and that makes me anxious and usually when I do an organizational thing with any part of my my house, um, it gives my mind a little bit of a break and maybe something will shake loose. So I guess I'll check in tomorrow if I can after my phone call with my editor. So we shall see. I don't remember the last time I had a hair week this horrible. I don't know what's going on. Usually in the fall my hair looks nice. I just wanted to talk about my phone call with my editor yesterday. It went well. I was allowed a certain amount of time to sort of get my bearings back, which is what I wanted, and I feel better about the whole project. I still don't have an idea, but with a little time, I think to focus on reading and just sort of living my life and not thinking about it, I'm hoping the idea comes to me. So that was the extent of the conversation. I spent the rest of the day yesterday creating promotional images for my Wrapped Up for Christmas release. That was fun. That always just sort of calms me and I was able to watch YouTube and catch up and just have a nice relaxing evening. Um, I did a little bit more this morning as well. And I think I'm pretty good with all my images so far. Anything else that I need to do is going to be maybe just a couple, but I feel really good about the release. I'm going to work on my calendar for the rest of the month and also scripting my writing hack um, video for this week. So I'm going to sign off here and I hope you had a productive writing week. Uh, if you're interested in my writing vlogs, uh, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. I'll see you next week.